In this video, I'm going to talk about why you should never work for free. In case this is your first time here, I'm Fred Trevino. I've been a professional colorist for Beambox Studio for the past 15 years. I've created over 60 feature length films and I've worked on hundreds of short form projects. And for those 15 years, it's been me as the owner and operator and working in New York City teaches you a lot about people, a lot about surviving in the industry. And I'm here to let you know why you should never work for free. So let's jump right in. This intro intentionally left blank. So here's a scenario that I know a lot of you are in. You may be in it now, you may have been in the past, but the, you know, one of the top questions that I get asked by beginners is how do I get work? How do I get started? How much should I charge? And what I typically answer with that as one of the top things, I won't go deep into how to get started and all that stuff. I'm just talking about one thing today. And, but one of, one of the things that I typically say is don't work for free. I know that's a very controversial thing to say. I know a lot of people disagree with that because I've heard a lot of people say, you know, get your foot in the door, do work for free, get out there and hustle and don't get paid for things. And so the number one reason why you should not work for free, I would say is because once you work for free, no one will want to pay you. If you work for free, even if you do a great job, your work will automatically be devalued. Let me give you an example. And this is something that's been proven over and over again. And that is if you find a professional, say cinematographer's website and you email them and all things being equal, one cinematographer tells you that their day rate is 3000 a day and the other one tells you that their day rate is 500 a day, people will naturally presume that that $3,000 a day cinematographer is a better cinematographer and they have more experience because they're worth that amount. The way a lot of new people look at rates is completely through fear. So you would say, I'm not going to charge $3,000. That's crazy. No one's going to pay me that. I'm not worth that amount. I'm going to start off with working for free, or maybe I'll start off at 500 bucks a day. Immediately people apply value to something based on price. That's just how it is. That's just human psychology. So that when you do a great job on something and you charge zero for that, even if you did, you know, an amazing job and you work with, you know, a good client or a quote unquote good client, because I think no one would ever be a good client who m makes someone work for free. But my point is, is that once they pay you zero and you come back with the next project and say, Hey, I'll do it for 500 bucks or a thousand. They are not going to want to pay you that. Even if you did a good job, they're just not going to want to pay you that because they already got that same work for zero. What they're most likely going to do is pay someone else that much or more because they will think of you as a beginner, someone who doesn't know what they're doing, someone that does things for free, you know, and not that everyone in the world are a bunch of jerks, but that's just simply how things usually work. Another thing I'll, I'll tell you as a red flag, never trust anyone who tells you, do this for me for free, do this for me as a discount. And I got these other projects coming up, you know, I'll send you some projects later, I'll pay for those. Because in my experience, I think maybe 0.001% of the time that's been truthful. Um, so that is a top reason why you should never work for free. And even if it's discounted, never just do a discount with no terms whatsoever. Never trade a finished product for a dollar amount. You never want to say, I will do this thing for you for a thousand bucks or whatever the price it is. I will deliver this for you. Always work for time and always work for the perceived value of that subject. Now in this video, I feel like I could definitely make a lot more business side uh, videos because it is something that I'm pretty passionate about. Uh, having gone through so many years of working with so many different types of people, you know, long story short, what I mean by that is never work with no contract, never work with no terms. If you're doing something where the market rate for that thing is a thousand dollars in your town or in your city, whether you're in New York city, LA or somewhere, you know, in Ohio, if you're doing work that's valued at $1,000 and you're doing it for $800, always have terms and saying, and make sure the client knows 
I'm doing it at a discount. When I work on a discount, these are my usual terms and have terms. But anyway, I think by now you get the point. And now on to another reason why you should never work for free. And this is a pretty easy common sense one, but one that's overlooked by so many people. And that is what you do is worth something. And this is the part where I sound a little bit like a motivational speaker, but you, if you have a talent, you have a skill, you know how to produce something, someone needs something, there's a value in that and you should consider yourself a specialist. And that is worth something, that is worth money because you're exchanging your time, your skill, your expertise to get paid. And I find that a lot of times people come from the mindset of working by the hour. They're used to working in a world where they get paid eight bucks an hour, 10 bucks an hour, 15 bucks an hour, and then they get out into the freelancing world or starting your own production company. And the thought of going to a client and sending them an estimate that's 30,000, 60,000, $10,000 is just completely crazy to them that anyone would pay them that much money to do something that's easy to them, that they know how to do. And I'm here to tell you that you do have those skills, you do have those talents. If you do have that equipment or if you don't rent it and let the client pay for it, what you do basically is worth something. And again, I sound like a motivational speaker, but don't forget that and know that you're, what you do has a value and you should charge accordingly. And just like you would never go to your normal nine to five and your boss would never come to you and say, hey, you know what? Today we're having a slow month that we're only gonna pay you $2 an hour or $3 an hour and you would say, okay, sure. I mean, that would never happen. So when you're working and you're doing film production jobs, you should have your rate, you should stick to your rate, you should have your terms. If someone needs a discount, they should understand that there are terms that go with those discounts, okay? And then the last reason why you should not work for free, this might be one of the bigger ones, um, and that is that working for free or working for cheap attracts certain kinds of people. It attracts certain kinds of clients. And those are typically the people and the clients that you completely want to stay away from. If you start your career working cheap, working for free, you're going to jump into a certain network of people where you're going to be the cheap guy or the cheap girl. And they're always going to be like, Hey, this person there, you know, they did this job for me. They charge a good rate. You should go for them, which is great for them, but it's not great for you. The type of client that you want is you want to attract the type of client who they say they need something. You send them an estimate and they understand terms. They understand contracts. They understand invoices. They understand estimates. You know, they understand the limitations of the work and they also understand what your job is and they, they're not the kind of person who you know thinks you do a million things and they're constantly sending you all these additional things to do which is known as project creep where in a nutshell they're paying you to do a one minute video and by the end of it you're doing six five minute videos that's not the kind of person you want to work for you want to work with a professional client who understands you understands what you do respects you respects your time and pays you accordingly. Um, so that's a huge reason number three to get into the good groups, get into the good networks, because that can end up being the foundation to your career where you end up quitting in two years because you hate people and hate everyone else, or you end up in two or three years not believing that you're doing something you love, you're getting paid for it, you're getting paid really great for it, and you actually like the people you work with. Okay, so those are three reasons why you should not work for free. And again, I know some people do not like that idea of working for free, but in my experience, you're just heading down a very wrong path by working for free or heavy discount. So again, I'm sure you learned something. Like, subscribe, and let me know if you want me to do any more business videos, but I definitely have a lot more stories and stuff where this came from. So I'll see y'all later.